There was not the strong smell of star apples now, and looking up where they had been, I could not see a fruit on the star apple trees. The gathering which celebrated the 50th anniversary of the book Green Days by the River was organized by Book Buddies, a group whose goal is to get kids reading again. And the group's founder, Marcia Laborde, explained why this book holds such special significance. So the journey that we took with this book, again, why a local book, <laughs> we felt the need for our readers, Trinidadian children, okay, our book buddies, to see themselves reflected in the literature that they're reading. The guest of honor, Dr. Anthony, was very enthusiastic about engaging with the young readers. He answered some funny questions. Are there any animals in the Ottawa River in Mayaru? No, but there are fishes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, some serious ones too. My name is Jaye. Why did you name the book Green Days by the River? Well, Jaye, and I am not quite sure why I did. But you know, the theme of the book, the whole book is it's about the river and uh, the two main characters and everything in that road, Cedar Grove Road, everything was green. And the impact of the, the greenness, the lushness of the place made me think of green days. Fully aware that a prodigy of the next generation could be sitting in his midst, Dr. Anthony made sure to leave the kids with some sage advice. I think the, the message I have for you is not to give up easily. I've known a lot of people with talent writing short stories. They were infinitely better than I was at school in writing compositions. And when they grew up, oh, they, they, uh, they, were, they, they were infinitely better than me, but they didn't have the staying power. They got despaired, they, they, they lost hope and everything. And also, a lot of young people who write the, for their first stories think that they have written gems, but you haven't written a gem. The kids were most appreciative and shared these sweet words. Know that through book buddies, we understand that we have to read to succeed and that readers are leaders. We may just have finished Green Days by the River, but with our next reading cycle at our doorstep, we jamming still. <laughs> Thank you. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.